The most shocking story I have ever done was about a girl named Brittany who was in a sexual relationship with her biological father. <laughs> and today, Brittany is back with a new update. Since the last time you were on the show, what's happened? We had went home that night from off of the airplane and stuff, and uh, we had gotten into an argument saying that I wasn't, you know, like, take, like, I'm taking his side. The next thing I know, I'm on the floor and he has me pinned down. And then he starts to slap me and starts to choke me and stuff. And after that, uh, I kind of just knew that this is not what I wanted. And I did. And that, and that physical violence against you, that's what kind of opened your eyes to what was going on? You, you helped me. And so did my mom. Do you believe that your dad was brainwashing you? Yes. For three years, I couldn't talk to my family members. I couldn't talk to my mom, my brother. I couldn't. He kept um, you very isolated. Yeah, I couldn't go anywhere without him. Him there, I couldn't even go on, like online and try and try to get into contact with them. And I couldn't even have a phone. I was oh. so stupid. I don't know why I did it. I really don't. I don't really have an, an explanation. Well, I, I, I believe there is an explanation. I think it's you wanted your dad so bad in your life, and I'm not a doctor. This is just a, a theory. Yeah. Um, and I think it's you wanted to be close to your dad, and your dad just used incredibly uh, selfish behavior with you. Um, just deplorable, deplorable uh, what he did to you. Um, but it's good to see that you finally snapped out of that. And uh... one night, uh, they were arguing. He told her to pack her stuff and leave, and I was there. And she started packing. Then he said, "No, stop, just stay." And she went and sat on the bed. And I went up to her and I said, "Are you going to come with me or not, or do you want to stay with him?" And she said she wanted to come with me, so she started packing again. And then we left. Good for you, good for making that stuff. Since we taped that show, and that was over a year ago, you haven't spoken to your mom or seen her. No. How come? I thought she went and let me back into her life. I pushed her away. I mean, you even seen it. I pushed her away from me. Well, we want to help rebuild your family life, and your mom's here. Let's bring her out. You're not going to believe how happy this is to make me that you are out of that situation and that you have a chance at happiness and I hope it continues for you and I'm I'm really relieved that you are out of that nightmare. I don't think that I would be here right now and if it wasn't for you. I really do. Well, and I'm, so I'm, I'm glad I was able to help and remember now you you have me you can always call me if you get in a bad situation but you have your mom now you have a brother and, and they don't want anything from you but love. But never let a man ever make you a victim again. Don't let anybody abuse you. If that happens, you turn to your mom, you turn to your brother, and if you need, you call me, and we'll make sure it stops, okay? Thank you so much.